117 million years ago, something went to work in the galaxy. Something began building the rails. Thousands of miles long, each is as different as the civilization for which it seems to have been built. Their purpose is unclear. What is known is that the nearer a ship ventures to a rail, the faster it goes. With no other use for the huge structures, the rails were transformed into mammoth race tracks. Upon these tracks, the 43 known civilizations of the galaxy competed for the right to be called champion. The prize they fought for was the Star Sphere. Assembled from 43 stones, each one found embedded in a different rail. These gems formed a nearly perfect globe, with one missing piece. Then, five centuries ago, a 44th rail was discovered. Adrift and orbiting a dying star, it contained no gem with which to complete the star sphere. Still, it is for the right to compete at this final lifeless sun that the galaxy's great champions will go to war. For this is the most challenging rail of all. This is rail number 44, the rail at Epsilon Indy. everybody, Barlow Lens again. Boy, do we have a great one here for you today. Pilots from across the galaxy are anxious to continue the time trials, but first, let's see how the contestants stack up. The real news, of course, is the appearance of Connor Rhodes, first contestant from the mysterious new planet, Earth. Rhodes is an unknown commodity, but Earthmen in general are reputed to be cunning, resourceful, brave, and often foolhardy. One thing is certain, it should prove to be an exciting first, if not last, race for Mr. Rhodes.
It's safe to say that racing fans were impressed by Connor Rhodes' performance against the drone ship, but now he'll have to go up against a tough customer. Racing fans are no strangers to the formidable half-man, half-machine coax. A fugitive of war-torn Baten Ketos, Coax was made a cyborg when the machine civilization he had fought against saved his life. Now, neither man nor machine, he is a bitter, determined contestant. It looks like now we'll really see what Connor Rhodes is made of. Newcomer Connor Rhodes continues to hold his own, but before this crowd truly accepts him, he'll have to show that he has what it takes to compete against the circuit favorites. And of course, one of those favorites is five-time champion Gathol Glaherg of Regor 12. Gathol, of course, has been off the circuit for over two years pursuing an acting career, but Earth has a mystical significance for Triceratops sapiens, and it's said Gathol could not pass up an opportunity to race against an opponent from the planet his people call the First World. Let's see just what kind of welcome the Earthman gets.
Well, it's becoming harder and harder to write off newcomer Connor Rhodes as just another pretender. So far, he has fared well against aliens who may be unfamiliar with how he thinks. That is about to change. His next race is against fellow humanoid Tiana Stone. But this may be an advantage for Rhodes as well, unless the stories we've heard are true and Earthmen really have little or no understanding of their planet's women. Hard to believe, but we shall see. Challenger from Earth, Connor Rhodes, has passed his first test and has earned the right to move on to the final elimination round before the true race begins. Congratulations, Mr. Rhodes, but you still have a long, long way to go before you reach Epsilon Indy. 